Hey everyone, you're here with Dr. Full Stack. So the first thing you want to do is head over to your Twilio account and make sure that you have your credentials saved somewhere where you can remember. So here I'm going to save my account credentials. This includes my account SID, which I'll copy here, as well as my auth token, which I'll copy here. Lastly, you could copy this phone number, but if you have multiple phone numbers, you may want to copy a different one. I'm just going to copy the phone number I have here for Twilio. Awesome. So we're going to replicate these steps in the LiveKit So if you've already created a LiveKit account at this point, what you'll do is head over to Project, and if you head over to Settings and then API Keys, you click on the API key and you'll see all of your credentials there. Click on Reveal Secret and you'll see everything that you need except for one and I'll show you where that is. So paste these three credentials somewhere safe. We're talking about your LiveKit URL, your LiveKit API key, and your LiveKit API seer. You'll be able to find your SIP URI and this is important. So save that somewhere safe. Head over to OpenAI, head to your OpenAI console and save that somewhere safe as well so that you're able to build your voice AI agent as we have. If you already have a MongoDB account, then that's awesome. If you need to create one, then you can. If you want to persist data that is not necessary for this, those are the credentials that I'm utilizing. So at this point, I'm going to head over to integrate everything that I need between LiveKit and Twilio so that my phone voice AI agent will work and be able to take in inbound calls. Let's get started.